Hello friends, in today's video, I'll be telling you some tips and things you need to do before giving uh, this mosquito larva to your beta fish. Uh, so, uh, this mosquito larva is among one of the most popular beta food and it contains various nutrients in it like protein, ash, and many more. And this is very nice and good for your beta fish growth and for their color mutation process. You can obtain this mosquito larva from a nearby place and it's easy to find in the rainy season and absolutely this is zero cost food you don't have to spend expenditure a budget for this. So in this video I'll explain some things you need to do before giving this mosquito larva to your beta fish because you cannot give it directly as they may be contaminated by some parasites, bacteria that could harm your beta fish. First thing you need to do is Place this mosquito larva in a bucket or a tub and keep it for 5 minutes and make sure there are no waves and don't shake it and then all of this, uh, all of this uh, mosquito larva will stay and swim at the surface area of the water and mm, well the dirt will sink and go to the ground area of this bucket. This will help you to split uh, between the dirt and the mosquito larva in, uh, in the water. After 5 minutes, you will see all of these mosquito larvae are uh, staying and swimming at the surface area at the top area of this water. You can see all the mosquito larvae are staying and swimming at the um, top area of this water and while well, the dirt and, um, and the soil are uh, st staying at the bottom of this bucket. Now what you need to do is just scoop the surface area of the water as fast as you can using a small fish net and you will get pure mosquito larva together. After scooping it, place all of this mosquito larva together in, in a clean and fresh water. Now you can see these uh, mosquito larva are in, um, in fresh and clean water and we can go to the next step which is to add a number of drops of methylene blue after that uh, stir it properly so that the methylene blue can be diluted perfectly in the water you just need to wait and keep it and let it let it sit for 15 minutes and let this methylene blue kill all the bacteria in the water after 15 minutes finally you can give it to your beta fish and there are several feeding methods you can use for this the first one is you can place uh, all of this mosquito larva in a used bottle like this with a small hole at the lid of this bottle and you just need to pour it directly to the tank and then the uh, second one is you can use a pipette like this but keep in mind this will take a long time to feed your beta fish to finish it and then the third one is you can use a teaspoon to, uh, to um, take the uh, mosquito larva and place it in uh, in the tank but uh, also it will take a long time some additional informations don't give mosquito larva that are already in pupa fish otherwise this will harm your beta fish and they could get dropsy and make sure you feed your beta fish only with this mosquito larva and no other insects or maggots for a single beta fish, you can give them 5 until uh, 15 mosquito larva depending on the size and the age of your beta fish. Okay guys, that's our uh, discussion today. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.